halitosis is a medical condition where there's a uh, weakness of the eye elevating muscle. So clinically, what you will see is a, a person looking sleepy or tired um, or sometimes even harsh. And that really depends upon um, where the eyelid is sitting relative to the iris, which is a color aspect of the eye. Um, for a woman, ideally, um, you should see about 90% of the iris or the color aspect of the eye. And for men, about 80% of uh, show would be appropriate. However, when the eyelid droops down and only about 70% shows, then a person would appear a little bit sleepy um, or tired. And then when it goes below 60%, uh, percent, then the person would appear looking harsh. So um, uh, during your daily life, uh, what happens is that uh, sometimes you can't quite notice it because often when you're looking at yourself in the mirror, um, you tend to elevate your uh, eyelid, and uh, that's just it's just a natural uh, reflex whenever uh, one is looking at well, one is looking at themselves in the mirror. So upon photograph, when you take pictures, um, you notice that uh, your photos sometimes come out uh, uh, well, and sometimes you come out looking uh, sleepy or a little bit harsh. And so you would try to forcefully try to uh, lift your eyes when you take your uh, pictures. So that's a good way for one to kind of uh, self-diagnose themselves as having uh, ptosis. Um, ptosis is a very important part of Asian eyelid surgery. And the reason is, is because uh, it is directly related to uh, uh, the double eyelid surgery or the fold creation uh, aspect. And the reason is, is that when the fold is made, it is made to the, uh, the muscle that elevates the eye. And if that muscle is weak, then it cannot tolerate the height of the fold that one desires. And therefore, um, what happens is that after the surgery, uh, the height changes. Uh, there's a fullness of the, uh, of the fold. And, um, um, and there's a myriad of uh, uh, complications that occur uh, when the ptosis is not accurately diagnosed. Um, so, um, when somebody comes in for uh, Asian eyelid surgery uh, or double eyelid surgery um, or ptosis repair, um, the, the ptosis has to be accurately diagnosed and, uh, and then the ptosis repair would have to be performed either by itself or in conjunction with the double eyelid surgery. Um, uh, to perform the ptosis surgery, um, the surgeon will tighten the muscle that elevates the eye and uh, by tightening the muscle, uh, the muscle regains its uh, function, and so you're increasing the muscle function or the power of the eye elevation. And, um, and this will give you more of a bright and alert appearance and uh, will give a much uh, crisper and sharper crease, um, and that is much more functional.